It, it, here's what a typical uh, lunch consists of, or breakfast, I should say. Uh, milk and cereal and fruit in the case of banana. There you go, nice. uh, and a spoon. New Jersey remains 19th in the country for its low income student participation rate in school breakfast programs. What's more is New Jersey uh, would have received $13.5 million in federal funding if it had met the national recommendation of 70% of low income students receiving school breakfast. I always say that uh, for our children to be successful in schools, they need a motivated teacher, they need a clean environment, and they need fuel in their belly to be able to help them to, to be able to be thinking, to be attentive, and to be in an environment where they can be learning. If you serve breakfast after the bell in the classroom, that's where kids are, <clears throat> you reach more children. And I think what's exciting about the bills and the leadership from the speaker and the sponsors is the bill especially that addresses those schools that have 70% or more children eligible and requires them to use a model like Breakfast After the Bell. And in those districts, because of their high percentage of eligibility, they can serve all children, which addresses the issue of stigma. So we're very excited that this bill has moved forward with tremendous support and the incredible leadership of the speaker and the sponsors. Federal feeding programs, and this is an entire web of federal feeding programs. We're talking about SNAP, school breakfast, school lunch, summer food. These are our front lines of defense against hunger in this state and throughout the country. These bills, the heat and meat bills and all of these school nutrition bills are critical to keeping this front line of defense against hunger in place. They will strengthen it to make sure that no child in New Jersey goes hungry and they will also bring in millions of federal dollars into the state. When it comes to taking a holistic approach to the success of our children, it's got to be nestled in a comprehensive common sense conversation and this package of bills does that. We leave money on the table, we'll be able to leverage that. We know that a lot of our high school uh, students may just rush off to school and instead of stopping at the bodega and getting a can of Pepsi and a, and a chocolate bar, and trust me, I remember my friends who used to do that, that we can just provide breakfast on the go and inside of their academic setting.